Okay, so here we are. We just finished off uh, most of the, well, yeah, the IK for the arm here. And we're going to move into some uh, creating some custom attributes for the hand. Uh, you know, some like point and curl, uh, you know, grab, pinch, all that kind of stuff. And uh, what I'm going to do, we're going to create um, this for both the IK and the FK setup because animators are going to want to have immediate control over the hand uh, when they're in either mode. But what I'm going to do is switch over to um, the FK uh, ones first. They're a little bit easier to describe, a little bit easier to do, and we've got these handy little flags out here to uh, pick the fingers. So just to uh, keep things kind of simple, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to create uh, a setup, um, a hand setup for this guy. Now I'm going to go with my old standby, my ring, and I'm going to call this one um, left hand, hand control. And we don't need this SDK node here, so I'm just going to quickly... Um, move that out of here where to go and I'm gonna just jump this guy off jump this guy off and put the SDK or the control back onto this guy and I'm gonna delete the SDK node and I need to make sure this is left hand control uh, no capital hand control offset Okay, all right, so we got this guy, and I'm going to move him up to the finger with our old parent, zero out on parent trick, and you can kind of put him wherever you want. Um, it doesn't really matter because we're, we're just using this as a selection device to get to our custom attributes, so, you know, uh, whatever you think, wherever you want. Uh, whoops, uh, shrink this guy down, and I'm going to make it kind of like this and this and that again I'm not going to be too picky just for demonstration purposes there we go we got our control guy and there it is so um I, boy I, I'm not going to get too picky here we go I need him I want to move this guy out just a little bit he might get in the way I don't want him to get in the way okay hand control all right so here we go so when we select the control that's better. I select the control. I'm going to hide all of these. Uh, you know, actually I'm going to lock and hide all these because I don't need any of those. I'll leave the visibility on. Um, I guess I could hide that too, but I'm not going to. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to create some custom attributes to control this hand. So by doing so, obviously I lock and hide all of our regular attributes. We can go up here into edit and we're going to add an attribute. Okay, now for the sake of the demo, uh, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. I'm just going to do a couple of fingers, probably the thumb and one of the fingers, since all the other fingers are going to be the same. The thumb and the fingers are a little bit different, so what I'm going to do is call this one thumb curl. And uh, very quickly, we're going to use a float compared to an integer, just so you guys know, integers are whole numbers. Negative 1, 0, 100, any whole number. Floats are numbers with decimal. In this particular case, we're just going to be using to the 10th. Booleans are true, false, 1 through 0, so there's no minimum, ma maximum. It's just either yes or no. Uh, we're going to use floats. And so minimum, I'm going to say with the thumb curl, because we can lift it up and curl it down. I'm going to say there's a minimum. Call that negative 10 and a maximum of 10 and a default position of 0. I'm going to add that and you can see we got a thumb curl attribute up here now. Uh, and I'm also going to create an index curl and what these are, these are going to be custom attributes to curl either the thumb individually or the finger obviously or the index finger individually. Same thing, minimum negative 10, maximum is going to be 10, default is going to be 0 and I'm going to hit add. I'm going to create one more just for the sake of demo, and I'm going to call this point. And point is going to do your basic point uh, with the index finger extended, again, a float. So my minimum is going to be, I'm going to leave my minimum out. So I'm just going to set a maximum of 10 and a default of 0. And you can put minimum 0 in here, I guess. Um, but I'm just going to go from 0 to 10. So it's going to be just one motion, just curl the hand and point. So I'm going to add that. And that's all I'm going to do for right now. 
uh, as far as the custom controls go. So now we're going to set this up with uh, SDKs. Now this is going to explain why we set up this extra node in here, this SDK node. And uh, so here we go. So uh, to add some set driven keys on on these fingers, uh, we're going to go up here. Make sure you're in the animation set, and we're going to go to animate set driven key set. Okay, we open up our set driven key, and for some reason, I guess my my must be I don't know some kind of pr preferences or something. So. Whatever I have selected goes into the driven, which I don't want. I want this to be the driver. So whenever I select this, this is going to drive. My hand and my fingers are going to be the driven. So right now I'm going to select load driver. So I'm going to load this control and its custom attributes, as you see here, into the driver section. Now the driven, uh, I'm going to start with the index finger because it's fairly easy. And what I'm going to do is select the controls, hard to see in here, but you can see I'm getting the three controls of the index finger. Okay. And I'm going to open this up so you can see we've got, uh, try and clear this up so you can see, when we select the controls in here, you know, we are selecting the actual control down here in the chain. So um, we have these controls set up, and they are actually already constrained or they're controlling the bones so we don't we don't want to put we don't want to make any more controls on top of these actual controls but we still want to be able to control them so that's why we have the uh, SDK wow um, oh shoot no that's right uh, I'm trying to figure out why this is way down here hold on one second I'm just checking out my Sorry, I got confused. I was looking at the top of this up here, and I scrolled down, and okay, here we are. So, confusing myself here. And okay, so again, we have the controls selected. These controls are already controlling the bones, so we can't put uh, any other controls or constraints on those. Now, the offset uh, controls are um, have our transforms on them, so they already have numbers. So we're going to use our SDK nodes, and to easily get up to our SDK nodes, when you already have these three selected, tap on the arrow key on your keyboard, and it's going to move up the chain, all three of them, all at once. So here are our controls. If we do move up one more time, you can see up in the end, up here we have rotations already. Oh, um, those are keyed in. Never mind. Sorry. Stay with the SDK. And... Uh, not sure why we have rotations on those. Oh, I, uh, no, it's something I set up before. So forgive me. Uh, the SDK nodes are what? <laughs> uh, rubble, rubble. The SDK nodes are what we want to um, set up our SDK, our set driven key for. That's why I called them SDK. So I realize I'm probably making this very confusing at this point. Anyway, so. Uh, again, up and down arrow keys. This is the control shape that we selected. Go up, tap on the up arrow once, and we're going to move into the SDK nodes. And what we want to do is this is what we want to drive. This is what we want to set up. So right now we're going to click on load driven, and it's going to load these SDK nodes for us, which is great. So uh, the first one I'm going to do, again, I've got the index finger selected. So I'm going to select on the hand control, and I'm going to, I'm going to uh, set a key, and we're going to work with the index control attribute right here. And you notice where it's set at zero, which is good. So by selecting left hand control with the index curl attribute, and we're going to move these in the rotate Z, you'll see that the key highlights now. We can actually key this. So my index curl was set at zero. All my rotate Zs are zeroed out. So I'm going to hit key. Okay, so now we've got a key on here. And when I go in, I'm going to select the control now. And my index curl goes from negative 10 to 10. So at 10, I'm going to have my finger curl at 10. So it, I'm going to enter 10 into the index curl. Okay, and then go back into my SDK, select my keys. And then on Rotate Z, I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to middle mouse drag these down and create a nice heavy curl. And I think I've mentioned this before, but our job is the rigger is to set this up so this animator can curl this as far as he wants. So I'm going to create a really nice tight curl. I'm going to put it at negative 100, which is way too much in my opinion, but I'm going to let the animator have that freedom 
So if he sets it at 10, the index curl 10, it's curled way up into a real tight fist. So now that I've got the rotate Z where I want, I hit key. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into my index curl, and if we move it down, back down to zero, it's going to move the finger back into zero. And this is good. This is what we want. Now, when the finger lifts up, natural, the natural, it doesn't curl, right? So all we need for the finger to lift up, all we need to key is the A position and the rotate Z. Okay, so when we lift up. I'm just going to lift this finger straight up like this. Now the index lifts a little bit further than some of the other ones. So maybe we'll go with like a 35. Okay. So that is the natural kind of movement of the finger. Now we've got the index curl. I'm going to double check. It's set. And I didn't do it. So I'm glad I double checked. The index curl number, we want at negative 10. This is our lowest number. So very important. I'm glad I double checked. That's at negative 10. Our FDK now at rotate Z. I'm going to middle mouse click this and rotate this straight up and uh, whatever. I'll, maybe I'll put in 40 instead of 35. Okay, so that's what we want when we're at negative 10, and I'm going to key this. Okay, so uh, I'm glad in a way that I kind of messed that up. So index curl negative 10 we're up here. Now if I middle mouse drag button through the numbers, we got a full curl at 10, and we lift all the way up at negative 10. So here we have a completed custom attribute for the index finger not too bad on time and what I'm gonna do is go into see if I can get into the thumb at this point I'm gonna move some of this stuff over and let's set up one for the thumb so what I'm gonna do is select this one this one and this one and again I move this back over we have our control set in the thumb area and to get the SDK nodes which is what we want I'm going to tap the arrow key, and that was not right. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, thumb controls. Weird. Arrow key. There we go. I don't know what happened there. Um, now we have the thumb control SDK selected. This is what we want to key now. Um, I'm going to load driven. This is what we're driving. And then we're in the thumb curl. So if I select all the thumb SDKs, we're going to be in the rotate Z again. And with the thumb, with this guy selected, and thumb curl, I'm at zero. All these are all set up. My key button's on. So I'm going to rotate the SDKs of the thumb and the rotate Z. And I'm going to hit key. So now I go back into here, and my thumb curl at 10 is going to be curled all the way, again, just like the finger. So I'm going to go back in. I have my thumb curl at 10 now. After I set a key at 0, I select my SDKs. Up here again, rotate Z. And I'm going to curl my thumb, again, maybe more than I really think it should be curled. And I'm going to go with negative 76. Nice clean number. And I'm going to key that. Okay. And that's our 10. So now thumb curl... If I go down, we go all the way back into the zero position. Well, if we're at zero, we're at the zero position. So thumb curl, our lowest number, negative 10, and enter. Select our SDKs. And I'm going to go rotate Z. I'm going to lift my thumb up. You know, I don't know. This is way too much, but whatever. So the animators want it. It looks broken, but hey, maybe they want to break a thumb. And I got, oh, let's just say... 35. And I'm going to key that. All right. Uh, close on time, so that's good. So, uh, okay, so back in our hand control, if I set thumb to zero, everything's zeroed out when we're at zero. So, thumb control, middle mouse, I've got negative 10 and 10. I've got a nice curl on that. And then the index curl, negative 10. And 10. So the animator can now go through here individually and kind of set his hand however he wants. So what you're going to do now is do the same thing we did on the finger for the rest of the four fingers. And in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then in the next video, I'm going to set up the uh, point and uh, do the whole hand. So uh, while you're doing those fingers, finish out the fingers. I'm going to have a little cup of joe, and uh, I'll be back to you in a few minutes.